Good morning guys, happy Tuesday. Today is April 9th, I think. Yeah, April 9th. And right now I am currently making my coffee. 10.30, so I gotta leave here in about 15 minutes to go to work as a TA and hold my office hours. But I didn't go to my 9.30 class this morning because like we, he puts the attendance online, but he does stupid questions. Like today's was literally, today is Sunday, August 11th and you just put true or false for to get credit for attendance and i know that sounds horrible that i don't go but there's no point in me going the class is literally designed to where you don't like it, you're almost encouraged to not show up if that makes sense because a the attendance is that easy and then b the tests are open note and we get like almost all the questions right before the test if that makes sense so it's kind of pointless but i just made my coffee but this is just a shot of espresso from my Nespresso machine and if you guys watched my last vlog, you guys know that I got the Vital Proteins Collagen Creamer and the flavor of vanilla. I had it yesterday and it was really good but I had it in hot coffee. One of you guys messaged me and said that it was really good in iced and I was like, wait, 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 what? How did you make it in iced? So she just told me to do it before I add ice, which makes sense. So I just brewed a um, shot of espresso on my Nespresso machine, which comes out hot obviously. And the serving size is two scoops of this for the collagen creamer. But I'm only gonna do one just because of how little <laughs> coffee there actually is because of the um, espresso just being like a smaller amount. So right now I'm just putting that in. She said to start with a fork, so that's what I'm gonna do. And then I will add the ice and almond milk to make it a latte and I will let you guys know how it tastes when I finish. Just got in my car to go to work. I also have, after work today, I have my usual schedule. If you're new here, you don't know it. If you are new here, then you probably know it just as well as I do. But I have audit after work and then I have my finance class and I'm done for the day. I don't have DSP tonight because we had initiation for the new members last night. So that's nice. But um, my original plan this morning, like since I knew I was probably wasn't going to management, I was gonna um, use that time that I'm normally be in class to go ahead and work out. But I am super sore from my leg workout yesterday. <laughs> like my legs and my hamstrings and my butt are so sore. And so are my, and then I was gonna do arms today, like tries probably. But my shoulders and my arms hurt really bad because I was like um, doing, I was doing squats with a barbell and it was a 65 pound barbell, but like I was having to like press it over my head to get it on my back so I could do squats or whatever. So that's why I'm so sore. But um, this coffee, Iced does taste good. Of course, it doesn't taste as good as whenever I use my silk almond milk flavored creamer because there's a bunch of added sugar. Not a bunch of added sugar, but there's added sugar in it. And it's like a cream, so it's not like the consistency is better and everything. And it just obviously tastes better like that. But I will say this is good for how healthy it is. So um, I do like it. It's not as sweet, but it is. And it's definitely, I think, going to be worth it because. I mean, I don't know if I really talked to you guys about it much, but I my joints hurt very badly every morning when I wake up. I know I mentioned that in yesterday's vlog, I think. And even if I'm sore, like they still hurt like from working out at the gym. This morning, they did not hurt like they normally do. And I had the collagen for the first time yesterday. So I don't know if there's a correlation there or not, but um, I mean, I'm, of course that's obviously going to happen. I just didn't think it would happen that fast. But normally like my ankles and my knees and my elbows and my wrists hurt really, really bad in the morning. And they didn't feel that bad today. Also in my last vlog, I talked about how I got my first offer from a big four firm for um, an internship for summer 2020, which is so exciting. But then today I've, I was waiting on one other firm that was a big four firm to get back to me. Um, and they got back to me this morning via email through a rejection letter. So. I was rejected from that big floor firm, but I honestly kind of saw it coming. Of course, rejection always feels kind of like black because you're just like, what's wrong with me? But to be completely honest, I am just thankful that I'm not going to have to make the decision of choosing between the two places because as far as I've gone with both of them, I really liked both of them pretty equally. So I knew it would have been a tough decision to decide where I was going to choose if I did get both. But if you guys are going through any kind of like interview or job, process right now or if you're going through the exact same thing I am don't take it to heart when people reject you because it's just not the path that was created or meant for you like I know that I was not meant to be at that firm for whatever reason but um, I know that in the long run like I, there's a path set out for me and that's going to be what happens as long as I like follow that path I was literally praying about it last night because I was so grateful to get that offer it like felt really good to finally have one 
but then you know I started thinking about like okay like you know just guide me towards the right path because I don't I don't know what I'm gonna choose and like how I'm supposed to choose so that was some perfect guidance right there was getting rejected because um, I didn't know who I would end up choosing if I got both but yeah that's just like a little word of advice don't take it too much to heart I know it's really easy to think that there's something wrong with you but sometimes like it they just may not be a good fit for you like you may not be a good fit for them they may not be a good fit for you it goes both ways and I just think that a lot of times it's really easy to just get down on ourselves when things don't work out the way we think they should or the way we want them to the reality of it is what's meant to be will be and everything happens for a reason and I am definitely someone that lives by the everything happens for a reason little quote I guess so yeah that's just my two cents but um, I'm about to get to work and I will talk to you guys later when I'm done Hi guys, I'm home now, so today was pretty good. It's like 3.25 right now, so I think I'm gonna make a snack. My plan for the rest of the night, since I don't have DSP, um, since I did miss class yesterday, if you saw my last vlog, my cost accounting class I skipped because I had like the worst migraine I've had in my entire life. And I just, I know we have a quiz tomorrow and I have pretty much already used my two drop quizzes, I guess, so I like have to do good on the next two. I think we only have two more, so on the next two. But since I wasn't in class, I didn't learn anything, so I'm going to try and like go through the textbook and the slides and read the stuff tonight. Griffin just got here. And so I want to do that, but first before, oh hi. <laughs> what did I say? She really just wiped it. No, it was it was my eye. You Unfollow, right unsubscribe. You can see it right here. Nope. My face turned red. I need to learn that stuff, which I'll probably do later on. Right now I'm gonna make a snack and watch a few YouTube videos because I feel like over the past few days I haven't watched many because I haven't been many to watch, so I'm actually going to watch those right now. Ever since all this internship stuff has been happening, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I know earlier I was talking about like the whole rejection thing and like seriously that has not affected me like whatsoever. But I'm someone who kind of skips over the whole being excited phase and goes straight to the fear associated with things. <laughs> Love that about me. Um, so it's like I should be sitting here being super excited about you know like my future and like what's gonna happen but like some things I'm still a little bit unsure of like the whole grad school thing I'm just like I don't have to go to sit for my CPA so like do it, should I really like do it but if I don't do it I don't know I don't know I could sit here and explain all of the scenarios that I was explaining to my friend earlier today but it would take forever so I'm not going to I can maybe do that another time but I am someone who just skips over being excited for myself and being really excited to have this awesome opportunity and getting this far because it's seriously so amazing and instead of being excited for myself I just instantly get stressed. I start worrying like oh my gosh am I going to have a good work life balance and am I going to be happy like am I going to be liking what I do and I guess that's what the whole internship thing is for is so I can figure that out. But. I instantly start stressing about that stuff which sucks and I think the reason I do is because I know how much joy YouTube brings me and it doesn't even feel like a job and I make a good amount of money off of it so it's really frustrating knowing that nothing will ever compare to YouTube <laughs> and I hate saying that but it's true and I know I've said that before but that's just kind of like why I have so much fear I think is because of knowing what it feels like to work for myself and it not feel like work I'm spoiled with that so I don't know. That, um, that's kind of part of the reason why I've been listening to the Take Control of Your Life um, audiobook on Audible because it's literally like talking about how to like control your fear and like conquer it and everything and that's definitely something that I live with with every situation like with going to college, being in college, going through accounting recruitment, going through the internship, going through real world adulting stuff. I have so much fear and I just need to like learn how to control it so and control how to react to it. But yeah, that's my spiel. Let's go make a snack because I'm hungry. I have quite a setup right now. I've got Ella playing with her little toy. I've got some apples, or just one apple actually, cut up with peanut butter and Trader Joe's coconut granola. Then I'm about to watch some YouTube and just chill with my girl for a little bit.
hi guys update so last time i talked to you guys was like when i got home and i watched youtube videos for about an hour and a half which was longer than i planned but um i did do some schoolwork i just went through the textbook and like wrote down the vocabulary and kind of like read through we don't really have to know a lot of like vocab like we have to know some but i'm gonna know it for the test not for the quiz our quizzes are usually like solving problems so i kind of just like read the process of solving problems and then did like three practice problems i will do more tomorrow morning before my class because it's not till two but i don't want to do too much tonight just because i don't feel like it and honestly this stuff isn't that hard anyways because it's a lot of it's like stuff we've already learned before 6 30 and it just hit me that i'm so starving so i'm going to go ahead and cook dinner i think i'm just doing pasta tonight with some chicken and vegetables so i just made dinner just have some lemon garlic chicken sauteed broccoli um protein pasta and then i used this red sauce i normally don't like red sauce but i saw this like all over everywhere i feel like being really good i think i saw it on the skinny confidential that she liked it a lot so it's the roasted garlic sauce from rouse i don't know how you say that and then i have a um salad that's just like a mix of greens with the skinny girl honey dijon dressing that's like sugar free and fat free and everything and then this is a treat i put like a handful of these on there because it makes it so much better time to edit i'm going to turn on my lamp salt lock ramp salt lock ramp what am i saying salt rock lamp on and um i just made a big thing of lemon water i didn't want to put it in my hydro flask i'm like really skeptical about putting lemon in my hydro flask because of what happened to my last one when it all like got molded but i'm also going to grab my um glasses usa blue light glasses and i'm going to start editing now so i will get back to you guys when i'm done editing because i need to take this sd card out for a little bit hi so it's wednesday now and i'm the worst guys so last night i was editing and i think around like 8 30 my friend megan called me um because she's been in nashville doing like office visits and stuff for her um recruiting for accounting so i went to go see her because she got back in town and she just wanted to um catch up or whatever so i was with her for like two hours but we went to chewy's because that's where she works but she wasn't working but we both went together and just sat there and ate chips and queso and i had so much chips and queso that late at night and it was so bad like i did not i wasn't even hungry i was just eating it because it was in front of me totally regret it but whatever i'm just gonna go to see her and then after that i went to my other friend megan's place just because she needed to um chat and hang out for a little bit so i did that and i was there until like 12 30 i came home and then i walked a lot and i went to bed so now it's 11 on wednesday and i'm laying in bed waiting on my video to export and then gonna start editing another one maybe but i need to shower thank you guys for watching this vlog sorry if it was a flop um be sure to subscribe if you're already my camera's about to die so i need to wrap this up but i love you guys thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye